Hi and welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauro Müller and I make videos about programming. Today I'm going to take you through the plans for the next weeks and months in the channel. As I said in the previous video, we need to do a little bit of groundwork. We need to cover some of the tools that we are using in other applications. And after we are done with all the introduction courses, we can then go back to the more complex projects. So let's jump right into the overview for the upcoming series and courses in the channel. Here is an overview of the full stack path. As you can see here at the bottom, I'm also working on the DevOps and on the AWS paths but they are not ready yet. So once they're ready, I'll share them with you. Let's focus today on the full stack path. I tried to make it as a dependency graph so you can understand more or less what's coming next and what's coming a little bit later during these next weeks and months in the channel. Let's start with the very basics. We will start with introduction to JavaScript where we'll discuss basic concepts and also a few advanced concepts that are used quite often during development. Meanwhile, we'll also touch upon HTML. Right, so HTML is important for, for front end development. JavaScript is for both. TypeScript is also for both. So these two will take a little bit priority over HTML and CSS. Nonetheless, we need to know HTML and CSS to be able to work with React, right? Once we have a good idea of TypeScript, then we can move on to all these five, I think. Yes, I counted correctly, five. Uh, parallel paths or parallel courses, which are going to be related to Jest, MongoDB and Mongoose, Node.js and Express, React, and then design patterns. And these are all important for what's coming next. Once we complete the Jest path, we can then work with React testing library. But for this, we also need React, right? And once we have MongoDB and we have here Express, and then we can start with an introduction to GraphQL. Now, this is not necessarily related to Node.js and Express. You can develop GraphQL, GraphQL applications without using Node.js and Express, but because we're going to be developing uh, GraphQL APIs using Node.js as the backend uh, technology, then it makes sense for us to do this after we know or after we are familiar with the basics of Node.js and Express. We will also discuss authentication in Express APIs and we will discuss API design, which is a very important part of, well, designing APIs, right? So we cannot ignore these. There are some good practices that we will, or best, practice, the best practices that we will go through and some documentation, some code generation, some strategies and techniques that will help us speed up development. Once this second layer is done, then we can go into more complex, more advanced end-to-end -end tests with Cypress, at least for React applications. We will discuss a bit or a few advanced topics in GraphQL. Now, the introduction and the advanced topics, they are both, let's say, required, but we can work with the introduction in order to start developing GraphQL APIs. So we will also develop GraphQL APIs and REST APIs. As you may have noticed here at the top, I have a couple of grayed out topics and this will be covered at some point in the channel, but they are not the priority at the moment. So these advanced topics in JavaScript, in TypeScript, in HTML and in CSS, they are things that let's say they, they are nice to know. Maybe they can improve the code in, in a few ways, but they are not required for anything that is coming up here marked in the green, right? The advanced topics in GraphQL, this is something that we will, we will need this, um, but this is, this is not going to be covered in introduction course. So the introduction is really to give you a, 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 an overview, a general idea of what GraphQL is and how it works. And once we have this in our minds, then we can discuss more specific concepts of GraphQL. These great areas here, they're going to receive their own series or their own playlist. And the videos here are not going to be in a, a temporal, in a sequential order. You can watch any of them in, in, at any time and in any order, but they're going to be uploaded a, a bit later and they will also be uploaded less often than the other series that are marked in green. That's it for today. Relatively short video, but I just wanted to show you what's coming up in the channel. See you in the next videos. Bye bye.